What's up, mages? Today, we're looking at a deck called Draw and Draw, and I think you're really going to like it. Let's take a look at the deck list. So this whole deck focuses around Teferi, Temporal Pilgrim, who is a Planeswalker for three and two blue with four loyalty counters on it. States when whenever you draw a card, put a loyalty counter on Teferi, Temporal Pilgrim. For zero, draw a card. For minus two, create a 2-2 two -two blue spirit creature token with vigilance. And whenever you draw a card, put a 1-1 one -one counter on this creature. And for minus 12, target opponent chooses a permanent they control and returns it to its owner's hand. They then shuffle each non-land permanent they control control into its owner's library. So that's awesome. That's what we're focused around. The main thing here is to get Teferi out on the battlefield and then draw a bunch of cards in or after we've done its minus two to buff that spirit up and go in and attack our opponent. When it works, it works great. Look at the cards, guys. We got four Teferi Temporal Pilgrims, four Flow of Knowledge for card draw, three Urza Power Stone Prodigy for card draw and creature, four Thirst for Knowledge for card draw, four Thirst for Discovery for card draw. We've also got one Suspicious Stowaway. It can't be blocked and whenever it deals combat damage, it also draws us a card. Four Moon Circuit Hackers for giving us cards upon combat damage. Four Curates for card draw and surveilling. Four Considers for surveilling and call draw. And then four Combat Research to enchant a creature so whenever it deals combat damage, it also gives us an additional card. Plus, if it's a legendary, it gets a plus one, plus one, and has ward one. So that's the deck list, guys. Let's dive in now. Take a look at the gameplay. I right, got starting hand. We got Teferi Moon Circuit. We've got a good hand starting out, and this is a really good deck when it runs right. So you will have times where this deck will not win, but this deck is a lot of fun when it does, and it's a lot of fun to play, period. We're going to bring out Moon Circuit on two. Playing mono white, it looks no, 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 Selesnia. What am I saying? Here we go. Probably Selesnia Enchantment. Still a T2 deck that runs very, very smoothly in the meta. Benga Shigiki, definitely a different take on Selesnia. All right, do we block? Just a simple 1-1 one, one death touch, so no, we will not. We get to four. Let's go ahead and return the queen. Take a swing. I'm fine to hit Lunark and trade. I'm good with that, but instead we'll draw two cards. Now at this point, if we got to discard a card... Let's go ahead and discard Curate because I'd rather have Moon Circuit for at least some more combat damage and some blocks if we get the Queen back out on the battlefield. We'll go to five, pull Teferi out. Minus two. We won't swing. All right, Torrens comes out here. Looks like we got some life gain for sure going on. Now, he doesn't think we're going to do it, but we're going to do it. We're going to definitely block. I'm not so worried about keeping the Teferi, but I like the opportunity to take the queen out before it continues to grow. Minus two. 
We will pull the hacker power stone as well. And then we will wait on combat research before we decide who's going to get it. Now we get, need to get into a thirst for knowledge or discovery, something that can get us some more cards in hand and start buffing this creature up. I'm not afraid to lose it to the Fangus Shigiki because we do have another Teferi in hand. Creatures you control get 2-2 two, two, till end of turn. Citizen you control get an additional 1-1. One, one. Okay, all of them heading that way. And that's perfectly fine because, again, we're going to create another one. So I'm not worried about it. We're going to drop another one out. Go ahead and put this on Urza. Draw another card. Okay, draw a card, then discard no. Could draw a couple more cards here. Take action. Now I will be more than happy to create two, four, five spirits. Twist of vigilance, reach, or trample on it. Nice. Goes for vigilance on both. Resolve all. Pass. We will block the Fang of Shigiki with Urza Power Stone Prodigy. Or not. Whenever you draw, draw a card, discard. We buff up. Draw three. Um. Okay. First for knowledge again. Discard two. And now we'll go ahead, hit team Gandia with our minus 12. And make them make some choices. What do they want to keep? And what, are, you know, what do they want to put in their hand? What else, What do they want to lose? And that puts us at 18 points as well. Uh, so that's lethal. Not sure if he sees it yet, though. If they see it yet. Game. Starting out good hand, good hand starting out for sure. We got our moon circuit hacker. Combat research. Ooh, Titania is a three, four comes out. It's only three reach whenever one or more land is battlefield under control or Hold on. Whenever one or more lands are put into your graveyard from anywhere, you gain two life. At the beginning of your upkeep, if there are four or more lands in your graveyard and you both own and control Titania, Voice of Gaia, and the land named Argos, Sanctum, and Nature, exile them and meld them into Titania, Gaia, Incarnate. Oof. That's rough. There's nothing we can do here. <laughs> that is a powerful card. No wonder it's a mythic. I, lo I love seeing some cards that are, are mythic that actually makes sense to be mythic. I feel like for a long time, there are cards that said they were mythic that didn't, they were weak. I mean, rather go and use a rare than those. Now, this might be one that we cannot. Yeah, we might be uh, gone on this one. We'll see. I cancel that. And no. In turn. We're going to get to flow for knowledge, get a flow of knowledge in just a moment.
And here we can block. We won't. Oh man. Okay. Well, flow of knowledge. And we still do not end up pulling Teferi. We've got literally every single combat research in hand at this point. Uh, discard a card. Cool. There it is. So right now we're hoping to pull Teferi. That's what we're looking for. They've got five, six, seven. We're on a two turn clock right now. And we need to pull Teferi so we can get that spirit. Wait, they've got both Titania and Argoth. How many lands are in the grave? Two, three lands. We won't block. We still don't pull what we need. Three eight's not going to help it either. That's game. GG. All right, starting off this time, we've got Teferi in hand from the very beginning. We get to consider and draw I like that for turn three. And we've got stuff to play on curve. Playing against green. Hold up. Here we go. We will uh, use Suspicious to pull in Moon Circuit. Go ahead and draw a card. And then just drop sus Suspicious back out on the battlefield. This upcoming turn, we got Urza, possibly also a combat research. We'll see if we draw it in hand. But then um, turn five, we got to parry or minus two. All right, Selesny Enchantments. We'll see uh, what a round does here, what that looks like. So I'm excited to see. Go ahead and get both our cards. Uh, discard one. And we'll pull that discard one. We'll discard the Curate. Let's go ahead and pull this out. There's a Power Stone Prodigy. And this upcoming turn, we've got Teferi Temporal Pilgrim on the play. Two Jukai Naturalists. Three Jukai Naturalists. Um, yeah, we'll block the 2-2. Two -two. That's fine. Okay, pull Teferi. Minus two. And uh, yeah, we'll swing with one, draw a card, discard a card. And now we get to see the real fun start. I mean, they need for this seven, right? Okay. And they got five, six. Still five, sorry, that's not that. But dang, ten ten flyer. Yikes. What's going on? Yikes. Yeah, I mean, at this point here, all we can do is block. And they've got nine coming at us. Okay, one, one. We got 10 coming here. We're going to have to block the others. Is that it? 
that's smart if it is they want to make sure that uh we can't get past anything so we'll activate that draw a card with the land go to seven unfortunately we don't have any life gain here and we don't have any removal so that would be the downfall of the deck right Okay, it's thirst for knowledge. Um, you're the hacker and the curate. Game. Good game. Oh right, yeah, starting out looking good. Got two. Normally we would want three, but we've got to play for everything but to ferry. There we go. We got three now. Surveil, nice. We get to get two curds, possibly, if they don't play on this. Okay, is that it's getting a burn on moon? Yep. Uh, yeah, I'm going to decline that and then we'll get rid of one consider and uh yeah. Here we go. Let's go to 4. Wow. Wandering mind. Go to five. Fader two two. They might have a fading hope in hand. We'll see. Okay. That's where we're at. We're at five. Celestis comes out. We'll run a uh, flow for knowledge here. Flow of knowledge. Um. Okay. Discard two. Let's go with Ottawara. Actually, no. We'll keep Ottawara. It's the only removal we have right now. Get rid of one Urza, one combat research. Done. Oops, thought I got uh, I got rid of the combat research. I thought I got rid of I thought I had an additional one here. We will not do that. Sorry, Moon Circuit. Get my attention. Come on now. All right. One fading hope though gets rid of our eight eight. What I'm hoping for right now is that they just use up their mana and they gain two more so they don't use it up completely, but okay. Are they going to counter? Game. <laughs> Good game. For now, guys, we got plays every turn. Well, not turn one, but turn two on.
scry and draw. Go to three. Got four coming out. That we do got play on four, thirst and consider. The fairy on five, or we hold our thirst and consider until turn six. So we can buff our spirit up. Ooh. Ooh. That might be bad. All right. Uh, let's surveil one. Nice. Okay. Okay, good. I want to get them to utilize those fights, those fight spells. One mana of any, Deathbloom Gardener. And there's a battlefield. Creature should data touch until the end of turn. Okay. Um Nah, I'm good. I'd rather have a blocker here for Teferi. Now they swing both, which is good. Okay. We thirst. Okay. Ooh. Oh man, Defiler of Vigor. Pay two life, pay one less this way, reduces the amount of green mana you pay. Whenever you cast a permanent spell, put a 1-1 one -one counter on each creature you control. We will not block. Okay. We will flow. Okay, they don't block. Submit to, all right. Now we've got a block for Defiler. Silverback, uh, Silverback Elder comes into play. Destroy an artifact or enchantment. Or gain life. Look at top four. Okay. A seven has nothing against her 16 16. Good. Here we go. And now what we're going to do here. Discard up to two. Discard those. We're going to hit our minus 12 again on Agarak. And that's game. GG. All right, consider and thirst for discovery, thirst for knowledge, all in hand from the very beginning here. Good hand starting out. Consider, we got to get our way to Teferi, but I like Moon Circuit, so very nice to have in the beginning. Turning out to be more of a, uh, you know, blocker than anything. Yeah. 
Yeah, I'm gonna sit both. Okay, Adara. Just gotta get rid of one. Circuit Mender, okay. No attack. Now, looking to pull a Teferi, though. So we got our circuit. All right, that's fine. Play that. Discover. Get nothing. Jeez, okay. Try to, uh, yeah, ouch. Yeah, I gotta take that. I can't, I can't get rid of that. No block, no swing. Now we're gonna have to use our flow for flow of knowledge if we don't end up pulling our Teferi because I'm not sure how buried it is. Block the mender. All right, let's flow of knowledge. Still no to fairy. Okay, submit two. All right, get the one one in the buff. Go to two four. Wing through. Okay, go to 18, draw a card. Is it? It is not a fairy. Okay. All right, two, 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 three, two, one. Um, no blocks. All right. Jeez, still not pulling it, man. Where are you, Teferi? There you are. It's a two. Um... Thirst for discovery. No attacks. In turn. Gotta get rid of one. Do the curate. Now we got to actually like start blocking and stuff. What's nice though is that once we block, once we block, we can still use the ability, the tap ability. Got the only call. He's got eight damage. He's going to be able to swing at us here as well. Nine with the dragon spark reservoir. Two's gonna take us to what twelve? All right, we'll block the two. Uh, 
Activate that, draw a card, discard a card. All right, we'll get rid of first knowledge. Uh, it's nine, which is basically game. Let's see. Or two, two out. Suspicious stowaway. So this upcoming turn, though, let's let's see. We got three blocks. So one, two, three. They're going to be swinging too much, I think, at us. But they'll be able to use that Dragon Spark reactor to take us out. If anything, they've got Oni cults that they'll be able to use because these guys here are artifacts. So, yeah, they should have lethal this, this round here. There goes one, dealing multiple damage to us. Wait, no damage. Okay, because of the fact that they didn't tap it, they just got to create. All right, why are they just swinging that? That's interesting. All right, well, we'll go ahead and tap, draw and discard. I mean, they've got a stead to right, so. Unless. Yeah, I don't think we're going to be able to get that far in unless we pull and we didn't. As I was say, unless we end up pulling the uh, one, which we didn't. Can't even think right now. Hold on. There it is, flow of knowledge. At this point, we're too far behind with it. I got to submit two. Unfortunately, we pulled it way too late. Okay. Nine. Wait, no. Yeah, I would have only been able to go to 11 anyways. No, I could have had it. I could have had it. Game. Do that last game. We could have, could have had it. Could have had it. Actually, no. They still got us with that dragon spark, so we wouldn't have had it. But that was still a misplay that we could have gone to 12 had I not played the moon circuit and instead played the curate to draw. Because then with the curate, Drew, once we drew off of that, we draw off of our guy. No, never mind. It would still just been 11. Draw a card. Get two. Um, let's get rid of the curate. Put our other moon circuit out. I'd rather get some creatures now on the battlefield to kind of cover our rear. Three damage. We lose the one. You'll get to draw a card here. Let's draw a land, hopefully. Nope. It's okay if we're going to discard one. Let's do Thirst for Knowledge. Put our Urza Power Stone Prodigy out. Yeah, we need two lands and then our Planeswalker. Walker. 
Here's one. Draw. We got our planeswalker. We got to get rid of two. Okay. And we tap. Get rid of the consider. Nope. Now at this point, we just need another mana. Rith. Who's the Rith? Primeval is a 5-5 five, five flying ward 2. Other dragons you control have two uh, ward 2. At the beginning of your instep, if a creature or planeswalker and opponent control was dealt excess damage this turn, create a 4-4 four, four dragon teacher token with flying. Youch. Okay. Okay, he's about to start getting these dragons like crazy. Got a 4-4. Four, four. Nope, no attacks again. But they basically have game here. Because they're going to be able to create another 4-4. Four, four. All right, two. But we got Teferi. We got Moon Circuit. We got Curate. So let's go with it. On two, we'll Curate. Actually, we'll go ahead with the Moon Circuit. This deck definitely struggles against playing red. Okay, Azorius. Might be looking at Azorius Soldiers. The engine. Youch. So at this point, we're not drawing lands. Yeah, let's get rid of one. Because we can at least surveil two with curate and pull into a land, hopefully. So we don't continue to be mana screwed. The surge engine is something to be dealt with for sure. Okay, we got to curate. Wow, okay, that works perfectly. Draw our other land. Swing two. Okay, take action. Draw, we get Thirst for Discovery. Let's go ahead and get rid of... Thirst for Discovery. I'd rather keep that flow of knowledge, you know. The Moon Snare prototype, tap and untap artifact you control and add one. Discard it, the owner non-land permanent puts it on top of their library. Interesting. Mushiko. So seven, six, take us down to 10, actually seven. Four, that one turn hurt us. I mean, he still can't be blocked, though, so that's game. 